how are you guys? My name is Miss Laurel, and look who I have with me today, Mr. Penguin. Hi, Mr. Penguin. You like what I'm wearing today? He likes what I'm wearing today. I like what you're wearing too. Oh, we kind of look alike, don't we? Oh, you could dress up like a penguin too. You know, I just put on a white shirt, just like Mr. Penguin has a white uh, fur right there. And then I put on a black sweater like Mr. Penguin. And then I just got some tissue paper, some orange tissue paper, and I put it right there for my neckline like Mr. Penguin has orange right there. Well, we are gonna learn a little bit about penguins today in a fun way. So let's waddle like a penguin. Ready? Yeah, good, you do that so good. Mr. Penguin can also flap his wing. They don't fly really, but he can flap his wing. Can you flap your wings? And I'm gonna put Mr. Penguin back here. There we go, Mr. Penguin. We'll see you soon. So let's flap our wings. Good job. All right, now, Mr. Penguin has a long beak. So let's go like this and snap our beaks. Great job. <laughs> Let's sing our hello song now, and we're gonna do those motions in our hello song. Okay, are you ready? Okay, follow along. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Can you waddle like a penguin? Can you waddle like a penguin? Can you waddle like a penguin? Waddle like a penguin with me. Can you snap your beak? Can you snap your beak? Can you snap your beak? Snap your beak with me. Can you uh, put out your <laughs> wings. Can you uh, put out your wings? Can you flap your wings? Flap your wings with me. Good job, you guys. It's fun to act like a penguin, isn't it? Well, now we're going to look at a uh, um, a book called The Puzzled Penguin. And do you know this little penguin was feeling very puzzled. Puzzled means confused. So let's pretend we're all puzzled. That means I just can't figure it out. I'm confused. I'm puzzled. How about in here also, he shivers because he's cold. Ooh, can you shiver? Good, you're a good shiverer. Ooh, cold. Okay, well, we're going to do some of that in our book. It's called The Puzzle Penguin, a pop-up book by Ken Faulkner and illustrated by Jonathan Lambert. Here we go. The freezing wind howled across the Arctic ice. A little penguin plodded along, shivering through the thick snow. I'm very p -p 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 puzzled, he said to himself. I just don't understand it. Do you like his beak? He's snapping his beak like we did earlier. Am I a p -p -p penguin? He asked a big, white, furry polar bear. Do you have flappy little webbed feet? Growled the polar bear. Yes, I d -d do, he said with a shiver, waggling his feet. See him waggle his feet? 
Then you're a pen penguin, all right, replied the bear. Am I a p -p 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 penguin? He asked a huge, bristly walrus. Do you have a pointy little beak? boomed the walrus. Yes, I do, 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 he answered, snapping his little beak. Well, you're a penguin then, grunted the walrus. Walrus have these big teeth. Am I a p -p -p penguin? He asked an enormous killer whale. Do you have flippery little wings? Snorted the killer whale. I d -d -d do, replied the penguin as he looked at the whale's own giant flippers. Yes, you're a penguin, spouted the whale. Mom, are you sure I'm a p -p -p penguin? Asked the shivering little penguin, looking very puzzled indeed. Of course you are, replied his mother. Why would you ask? I thought that maybe I wasn't because I'm always See what he's always freezing. That poor little penguin was shivering and cold because he lived in the snow. I have a little bitty penguin right here. When they're little, maybe they don't have all their feathers and all the things that keep them warm in the snow. And that poor little penguin was shivering all the time. Shiver. <laughs> I am going to show you some colored penguins now. Do you see these? Yes, let's name our colors. This is blue, green, orange pink you got it good how about that one purple yes yellow white and red oh great you know so many colors i have some pom-poms here they're little colored fluff balls so this one is yellow. So let's match it with our yellow penguin. Do you see it? Oh, down, over, you're right. It's right there. Nice job. Yellow matches with yellow. Let's try this one. It's orange. Yes. Okay. Nope, not there, huh? You knew that I'm tricking. Oh, right there, up in the corner of our picture. Yep, orange matches with that orange penguin. Let's do one more. How about this? Blue. Okay, not there. Oh, up on the top in the corner? Yep, you got it. Blue matches with that blue penguin up in the corner on the top. Great, well keep practicing colors because colors are so wonderful. Let's sing our ABCs, okay? I'll do them in sign language. You can try too if you want. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 
I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, you guys are great. And I saw you trying to do your ABCs in sign language. Good job doing that. Let's count, okay? We're going to count to 10. Here's my numbers over here. You see that? It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Should we do our days of the week? Okay, that's a great idea. Let's do that. I have them right here. Ooh, days of the week. The song goes like this. Days of the week. 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 Clap, clap. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week, 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 clap, clap. Great job, you know that song. You want to do a craft? Okay, let's do that. I have a piece of paper and you can make this at home. You can just get a, a piece of white paper. I have a piece of red paper and I have a marking pen and maybe the person that takes care of you can help you use your marking pen. And I have a glue stick. Oh, you've used a glue stick. They're fun. You have to take the top off and you have to turn it up like that to get your glue. Yeah. We'll just turn mine up just a little bit like that. Now, with our marking pen, I'm going to make the number two. One, two. This is what a two looks like. That is the number two. Now, we're going to take our glue stick and we are going to glue cotton balls onto our number two. So here's our glue stick. You just go, ooh, and you trace it. It's fun to trace. You know you can also trace your name if someone writes out the letters of your name, and then you can trace it. Now we're gonna take our cotton balls. And let's, let's count them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's fit one more in here. Ten. Ten cotton balls, and we made the number two. That's a fun craft to do. And you can probably do that at home if you have a glue stick. And if you don't have cotton balls, you can maybe find a piece of paper and cut it up or rip it up. And you can glue that on the number two. I want to show you some um, shapes. And we're going to match our little penguins to our shapes. So that, you know what that is? Yes, it's a yellow star. Good job. And this one, it's a little harder, an orange 
triangle. So I have a card here and this cute little penguin has something right on its belly. The orange triangle, you're right. It goes, does it go on the top or the bottom? The bottom. It matches that orange triangle right there. See, they match. Now, here's our penguin with the yellow star. And yep, you're right, it goes up here on the top. Should we do another one? Okay. This time, I have a blue circle and a green rectangle. Yeah, that's a hard word to say. So let's see where this penguin goes. Yes, he has a blue circle on his belly. Up on the top? Okay. You're right, they match. Let's do this one. And he goes on the bottom, the green rectangle. Great. Should I do another one? Okay, I have one more. I can do another one. This one is, it's purple. Yes, it's called a square. Good job. And this one's a little trickier. It's red and it's called an oval. Oval, can you say that? So we have our penguin with a purple square. He goes on the top. That's right. And our penguin with the red oval goes on the bottom. You're good at your shapes. There we go. I have some shapes over here. We have a circle. Here's an oval. There's a triangle. Can you say that with me? Triangle. Good. And we have a square. Let's look at this one today too. Rectangle. Yes, we just looked at a lot of those on our little matching game. I also have a penguin in an inner tube. And this inner tube is red. You're right. Do you see what's on it, the shape? I don't know if you can see that shape right there on the top of his hat. A heart. And this has little white hearts all over it. So this penguin with the heart on top of his hat goes into this inner tube. Aw, they go together. Should we do another one? Okay. I have a penguin here. He has a yellow band around his hat and he has that shape. Yes, a star. You're right. This cute little penguin has a star on top of his hat. Now this inner tube, it's yellow, so it matches his hat and it has little stars all over it. So this penguin goes into that inner tube. And he can float around. Let's do one more, then we'll say our goodbye song. I have this cute little penguin. He has green around his hat. Yep, and that shape. Do you remember? Yes, a triangle. And this color, green. And do you see little triangles all over it? They match, they go together. So this little penguin gets to play in that inner tube and float around. They're so cute. Thanks, Mr. Penguin. Well, my penguin friend and I are gonna say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. He's gonna wave like that. Ready? Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. I sure hope you had some fun. Tomorrow is another day. We will laugh and sing and play. 
Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. I sure hope you had some fun. Goodbye.